Hello and welcome to part one of my Sea People campaign for the mod Invictus. Um, it's a mod for Imperator Rome. Uh, they just had a uh, nice big update <coughs> and uh, they've added all sorts of goodies. One of them is that you can uh, bring back the Sea People, which was a confederation of uh, raiders supposedly that uh, kind of tore everyone a new one so that's going to be the focus for this video um, I also want to do a Mesopotamian run probably with Assyria or uh, one of the other groups they've added a lot of love here uh, I am using Invictus um, full mechanics overhaul and no minimum levies so that there's no region splitting so to start we have several different flavors that we can choose from with these Neurasic people. So, after looking at it, I decided to go with the landlock guys, the Kelsitanians. Uh, I like them because they get uh, morale bonus and fort infrastructure capacity, and I'm not too worried about the road cost. Because once you're building roads, it's not terrible. Okay, so... I'm, I am not going to do Iron Man, uh, because just in case there's some sort of issue, I, do, I will do hard, and I really like mixed gender rules, so I'm going to add it. I may not enable it in the beginning, but we'll see. I'm not going to do very hard. That's uh, I'm not good enough for that. Okay, so check the game rules. They're all what I want them to be. And we're going to jump in. I'll read this off. Out of those people who, erected, who erected the Nereges a long time ago, the Sardana of Celsitania and the numerous tribes among them are the descendants of those who once occupied the fertile Aeolian plain. After decades of wars against Carthaginians and the ill-fated arrival of poisonous mists that choked the plain, they were forced to flee to the mountains a place from which no foreign army has ever managed to dislodge them. By foreign sources, they were known by many names. Some refer to them as Aeolians, descendants of Aeolus, nephew of Heracles, whereas others call them Iliensians from Ilio, the old name of Troy. Even the oracle of Apollo of Delphi, who had spoke of the fate of the Aeolians, had said that they would have maintained their freedom in eternity, a promise which endures until this day. So, epic. Okay, so the Sea People, one of the key things that this mod adds, I haven't really gone into depth before, but I need to start because I, I'm making these videos because I enjoy these mods. So, first off, here's, we've got full mechanical over, overhaul. I know for sure it adds these ages. So, like, we need a metropolis, get to great power, have at least a hundred ships, have roads, um, educated bunch, spreading Hellenism, having a legion with at least 15 units. And that'll start a golden age, which gets me these bonuses for 300 months. Tax, growth, morale, morale's a nice one, uh, income, uh, diplomatic reputation, and levy size multiplier. And then uh, it looks like you progress through the ages. So, that's at least that part covered. Uh, this mod has um, also character focus. So, like, for example, in this case, we're going to be doing a lot of warring. So, I'm going to go with martial focus. And there's different options. They appear similar, like three may have the same thing. But, like, for example, Siegecraft will give me 3% enslavement. So, I'll take that, and then eventually I will march down these. So, that's character focus done. Um, one of the biggest services are these missions. Uh, the team, Invictus and Terra Andromeda, they're adding, you know, custom missions uh, as they go, because it really uh, is good for the game. It kind of gives you goals, and... Uh, it lets you exploit the map the way that it's been kind of designed. Like, you, you see these empty areas, some of these are valuable, you know. 
So anyway, so we're going to start this mission, reclaiming the Eurasian homeland. For as long as the sun has traversed its path in the celestial realms, our people have lived simple and uneventful lives, our fortunes ebbing and flowing like the ocean waters that surround us. While some sneer at our ways and call us barbarians, we were content with what we had to call our own. This has changed with the arrival of the Carthaginians, who have seized the southern coast of our island for themselves. Their diplomats have made it abundantly clear that our mountainous homelands are not safe from their encroaching armies, that we have a different idea about our future. This will be considered complete once we have pushed the foreigners from our island and reclaimed it. We are slaves in our own homeland. In the days of old, we lived in a state of harmony, but for a long time we've let the Phoenicians create trade posts on several of our coastal settlements, bringing great profit to our people while our settlements became rich and competitive cities. All of this changed with the arrival of the Carthaginians, another Phoenician colony located in Africa, which, after subjugating their local rivals, decided to seize control of our beloved island. So began the war. The Carthaginian expedition was led by Malco, a general already victorious against the Greeks in Sicily. Many field battles were fought on our Aeolian plain, till Malco and his force completely annihilated and forced to abandon our lands. Oh, I'm sorry, Malco and his force were completely annihilated. Malco himself, returning to Carthage after the catastrophic defeat, was executed by his own people. Great were the feasts we had to celebrate our victory, yet peace didn't last long. Five years after the failed attempt of Malco, his sons Hamilcar and Hasdrubal returned again by another devastating... Uh, oops. Returned again, stronger than before, to conquer our land. Our plains were yet ravaged by another devastating conflict. Many were the attempts to repel the invaders, often successful and often a failure. After 30 long years of war, stalemate was reached. The Carthaginians could not expand further in, in our interior hills and mountains, therefore ensuring our control of northern and eastern coasts, but we had lost forever our great Aeolian plains and the rich mineral fields of the south. For 200 years, Carthage has attempted to further expand in our lands, yet thanks to the harsh conditions of the terrain and the indomitable strength of our ancestors, we managed to maintain our freedom. We often conduct ambushes and skirmishes on the plains once owned by our forefathers, for if we cannot take them back, none shall benefit from the fruits. Yes. Still today, the foreigners have been reluctant to settle on our island. I wonder why. Discouraged by both us, by us, both us and the poisonous air which has enveloped the lost plains of our forefathers since the days we left them. <laughs> However, for too long we have permitted these filthy interlopers to grow wealthy at our expenses, consuming our rich mineral veins and impoverishing our farmlands for their own profit. The time to retake the Aeolian plain has come. Our enemies shall again witness the fury of those who built the towers. Basilcus Thori must prove to his forefathers that he is worthy of their presence in the ho halls of... Uh, Norgardo, I, Bosilcus, can bear this no longer. So we're going to have a tax penalty. So the mission starts. Reclaiming the homeland. So we have two branches. Let's see what they are. Okay. So I'm going to need to take that, of course, and then build it up. So we're going to start over here because this seems like uh, more end gamey for that part. Okay, so we're going to start gathering the tribal elders. Before we can make any moves against the foreigners, we must first gather a consensus among our tribal brethren. We cannot do this alone. We will need to unite our strength if we have any hope of succeeding. Send word to the neighboring tribes. A council will be held. Okay. Um, let's take a look at our omen. I think... I'm going to be doing a lot of war. Very soon. So I'm probably going to go with man power recovery speed for now. Okay, what's our levy situation like? So we've got archers and light infantry. Fantastic. So my first imports are actually probably going to be war-based. Okay. 
not available. So instead, wait. Oh, that's a Freeman. Uh, let's see here. That's funny. I could get elephants. Alright, we're going to start with uh, some stone. I don't think these are going to stay for long. Okay, that's what we'll do for now. Alright, uh, we've got idea slots. We are a tribal, settled tribe. So we're going to go with, for now, we'll do martial ethos. And uh, I kind of like loyalty for generals, just for tribal guys, just for now. Uh, it's not great, but it, it works okay with them. Now, opening moves. I'm going to be killing these guys. So to do that, I'm going to go and uh, basically invite these guys to a league. Oh, actually first, let's see who it actually is. So Carencia, yeah. So we're going to do use our council to get a cast spelling on them. Then we're going to go through and we're going to defensive league up these guys. The reason why we're doing that is to stop these other guys from getting in. Or, yeah, from getting in and gaining protection. So we've got to cycle that through. And we're also the leader of this league now. So we're going to start the game. Basically, just so I can get my opening diplomacy gun. So we're going to alliance up these guys. And I don't really care if they come, uh, but I guess they will. So what we'll do is we'll call them in. Basil Basilka's story bursts out of the tent, a filthy stream of curses erupting from his mouth, and moments later is joined by his entire entourage. All have been standing outside, not an insignificant number, as a large number of soldiers have been milling about all morning. You can see thus can thus see for themselves how the negotiations are going. Quiet murmuring ripples across the gathering crowd as Basilkas turns to address them face westward rage. A few weeks ago, I, Basilkas' story, sent word to the tribal elders, seeking an audience to discuss the danger the Carthaginians posed to us all, and yet no one had the uh, two decency to answer the call save the Longonensians. I expected our cousins to answer the sacred call. Uh, considering that we have many Sardana tribes on this island, but I wouldn't be surprised if they all sneak away from the war council, turning towards a red-faced Lagunas Eumerillus, who's standing with arms crossed. Basilicus extends his finger and continues his tirade, his voice trembling in anger. I believe that you are all cowards, unworthy to sleep with pigs. Lagunas, you dare come here with honeyed words, promising a false peace. Your breath sweetened by Carthaginian wine and your pockets flush with your silver. Enough! You are no partner in war, but a serpent in the grass. Leave at once, lest I break my oath of hospitality and strike you down where you stand. The mood in the throng turns ugly as Story screams. There shall be no mercy shown to anyone. Sardinia will be ours. Death to cowards and foreigners. We shall slay all of them. Well, it looks like Lung Genesia is next. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, do that for now. Okay, so we've declared war on these cats. We don't have a large army because I use no minimum levies. So they don't have a large army either. Alright, so we're gaining some tech advances. That's good.
We'll see if we get this. I think we will. Oh, we'll become friends with some random guy. Okay, decisions. We can't really do anything that you probably haven't seen before. I mean, form Sardinia will be fun if I can do that. Well, that didn't do what I wanted. Okay, we'll try that again, I guess. Okay, we'll bring one set of guys this time and get that done. Okay, next time I do this, I'm just going to hire mercs and go from there, because for some reason the AI doesn't want to help me siege down this place, which it didn't do during my test game. This went a hell of a lot smoother. Like, am I, I am allied with these guys, right? Yeah. I see here, and I'm losing men. Okay, so let's get our guys back for supplies, I guess. I'm gonna go do this again. kind of the thing when you play these micro guys it can be a downside to no minimum levies but it's uh i like it okay so we're gonna imprison law because we're gonna need money disband the levy we picked up some more pops okay so our next target are these guys actually honestly it's kind of all of these guys um
Okay, so we're up to four levies now. We're going to bump up our army maintenance. Yeah, okay. So we have to be careful because this terrain is like super gnarly. Um, uh, I will go here. I like that. Yeah, so people will get a festival. Okay, so I picked up another focus, which is going to give prestige and popularity. And the next one gives loyalty to generals. Okay, so here I'm getting plus 10 loyalty from that military admin. I find it handy for uh, tribal guys. We'll try an assault and... Oh, yeah, okay, good. Alright, so now we're going to move back. Oh, don't want to go that way. We'll go this way. And then we're going to chill and get our manpower back. Okay, so we're going to go here. I'm going to take hostile attrition, see how that does. I don't really want to like siege this castle down yet because I get penalties, like they'll be able to attack me and get a bonus. Like I'd, I'd honestly rather attack them on the fort. Okay, so I could bring those mercs in soon, which is what I will be doing. Why am I losing them? Okay, go this way. We have a shrine to arrest the god. Cool. Okay, so we'll hire these guys. Okay, mixed morale armies like this are super dangerous. I did manage to snipe those guys though, so I'm gonna go now I'm gonna park my happy butt here. Oh, I forgot to dang it, I forgot to sell these guys off to pay for my mercs. I hope I didn't lose control of them. I don't think I did. Because uh, if they cancel the contract, they probably would have... Uh, my upkeep would have gone down. Okay, that'll work. So we need to get this guy back here because we need him for basically his assault ability. So we're going to take our levies. go like that and then with him we're gonna start the assault okay there we go none shall hide then we're gonna camp out here actually we're gonna camp out here and uh, get our morale and stuff back before we go fight it's kind of risky like if you do an assault and then chain like war um, because your morale may not be good, and if they damage your morale enough, like, your whole army will collapse and you can get wiped. Okay, so yeah, these guys know it's over. Right. You see how his morale is pretty good, though? Look at his morale. If he had slightly more guys, he probably may have won that if he had, like, counter troops. Okay, so... This is going well. That rocky beginning was really annoying. But I guess it's also part of the game. Okay, we're just going to try to assault these guys as quick as possible.
Yeah, we'll give him military training for a few months. Oh, boy, I screwed that up, didn't I? Maybe. I'm... I thought I was dead. Okay. Um, Torinia. Yeah, we'll welcome them just for talent. I don't know how we won that. I Because I accidentally closed the battle screen. So we'll go back here. We did break our... Oh. I mean, they didn't do too much. Their garrison is still bad. Okay. You know what? I still have plenty of time on these mercs. So this is what we're going to do. I have to keep an eye on these guys to make sure they don't try to get me. Especially if I do one of my dumb assaults. So, I don't have enough guys right now. I'm just going to hold off. And I think for now... Actually, there's not really much we can get. So, we'll take salt. And I think that's it. Okay, so this siege... If I get a breach, I'm probably going to do an assault. Good. We got that guy. And then we'll move here. Like that. Okay, sue for peace. Suggest which one won't I get? Okay, so we'll just go cap cap that now and then we'll get Okay. I gotta smack these guys around a little more, it looks like, for a war score. That's fine. Uh, we've gained more stability. I guess we need a little more war scores to smack these guys around a little more. See if that gives us the war score. Yep. All right, we'll imprison all you guys. Uh, okay, so what do I do now? So now I have to lock the back door, which means I have to build a fort here. And then I need a farming settlement of some kind. So here... Okay, we'll see if that... I'm assuming that'll update, because I think I have a fort there. Oh. I was looking at the wrong thing, maybe? Okay. Uh, the other thing we need to do is we're going to start, uh, start selling off. Okay, so we'll get the ball rolling on there. We will accept wine. We have a perk, which is going to be loyalty of generals. Okay. So I think I'm just going to fire these guys because I could hire them again if I need to. Let's see how big my levies are. Okay, I got six levies now because my pops. Uh, yeah, we're up to 66. Okay. So let's get some base metals. I also need to build a farm. It's a farming settlement, it said. So. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm looking at the fort situation. It's like, this is actually... I like this fort. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And okay, I do have the stone bonus, uh, which gives you a discount. Do, 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 just keep selling people. So we can buy a farm. There we go. Okay, so here we will build our farming settlement. I believe that's what we're supposed to do. Hidata. Hmm. I have a feeling I just did that wrong. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of this fort. Yeah, that looks reasonable. Money's back up. We import wine. We're not going to do social equity yet. There's nothing we can do about that. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, okay, it already does that. So, let's just... You know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. So then start the uh, exports over again. Okay, we'll go for Duel to the Death. That's usually the best option. Uh, Re Reducano Mandonis stands as the uncontested winner. In one blow, uh, he chopped this guy's chest up. <laughs> Excuse me. So, what is next after this? Then we have to go to Ficaria. Okay, so I need to move some guys in here. There we go. I think. Bandit camps. We've heard rumors of civil escape slaves are forming gangs, joining their forces to repay misery upon the society that wants to enslave them. These brigands are causing quite a bit of chaos, leaving a trail of death and destruction in their wake. And it is even said that they've built camps in one of our settlements. What a complete and utter lack of respect they are showing. The pressure's building for Bull Silka's story to do something. We aren't going to allow these robbers to operate in Kelsitania with impunity, are we? Send a few cohorts to end their terror. Cannot spend the manpower. Okay, so we will. We can't spend the manpower. Yeah, we we gotta work on our manpower actually. So. We'll figure it out eventually. Basically, we're sitting tight until we uh, progress through this. Once I get the manpower, I'll uh, work on this. Okay, so we built our fortress. The Taffer Strait is what separates Corsica from us. Taking control of uh, Longjones will guarantee a safe access to those waters and sec secure a strength point against whoever tries to cross it. 
locking the back door. We finally received news that our ongoing construction is almost finished despite the harassment of the local Corsians who do not wish to see our presence. Still, the soldiers at the work site are more the capable of driving them off. Driving off these skirmishers, so work draws to its inevitable conclusion. Although the fortress at Longerns is an impressive achievement, our chief architect has informed us we could do more to bolster our defenses if we have the coin. Honestly, I'm. Um, I don't know. I'm not like a huge fan of these uh, temporary buffs. I mean, I know it's like 20 years. Yeah, I guess we'll do it. Okay. Uh, once our oh, heavy rains near Haidata, although everyone is complaining about near constant rain, our farmers are thankful for the week-long storm, which has been pouring over Haidata. We've been experiencing unseasonably warm weather, which in turn was causing crops to wither and the fields to dry out. The rains have changed everything now, so we gain more stability. And uh, I think we're going to go with manpower with cover of speed. That added one one man so it's okay it's something i guess um, okay so i need to be importing grain and then this mission is complete so we can get rid of base metals and we'll just do an internal trade that's fine okay securing the reserves we're now importing grain uh, if we have any hopes of winning in the field, our soldiers must be well fed and ready to fight at any time, for hunger is an ever present enemy that is difficult to escape. As soon as we have the funds available to us, we should build a farming settlement, as well as import as much grain as we can store. So here we're going to get a global food modifier and base capacity. The Silka story has arrived at the farming settlement that was just recently completed, deciding to leave nothing to chance and desiring to personally inspect the handiwork of our workers. The Silkas walk through the fields inspecting the quality of soil and spend hours walking through the storerooms checking the preventer of the farm animals. Whether or not their stalls were properly cleaned, no detail was deemed too insignificant for his attention. After an incredibly long day, everyone was relieved when Bosikos made his pronouncement. We can prepare for what is to come knowing our bellies will be full. Okay, we have a sacred oath. Uh, this is actually very interesting. What's Eye on the Hills? Okay, we'll get back to that. I want to go and do Fricaria now. Because I can. So we can colonize it. And it's not instant, so it takes, it takes some time. The Sacred Oath is very intriguing. I mean, that's a really nice modifier for 20 years. Okay. Hey, we got heavy infantry in our levies now. That's good. I'll have to uh, start working on getting iron. Okay, so that will colonize. In the meantime... Excuse me, I'm also torn on really what to do here. <coughs> I start centralized and such. I guess I'm going to go centralized and just lean into it. Okay, this colonization is almost done, then I have to build a fortress. It comes with a port, which is actually super handy. Okay, so that is colonized now. I'm going to kill the port. 
Because uh, I believe you need a fortress here. Yeah. Honestly, I think I'm going to go for these guys first, it appears. Uh, Truscans, which also means I need to build a navy, because I did just kill like my ports that I had. Yeah, that's farmland. Um, hey, Mercedia and Aif are hopefully becoming friends. Okay, so I got a bunch of farmland here. That's sick. Okay, I think here I'll put a port. Maybe or here. Okay, I gained another martial perk. I'm gonna take the discipline. Okay, I'm also gonna start colonizing these. You need to grab these. Okay, yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, let's see. Our officials in the province of Sardinia, Australis, report they've been approached with donations of grain. Uh, we'll take the seven gold. Okay, so here I need to keep eyes out because I'm, I'm going to build a fort. Do I have people to sell? Let's see. Alright, we're getting more tech. Uh, we'll take the money. Because I need it for province investments. So, we're going to go here. We're going to build our fort. And then I think here I'm going to build a, uh, a port. I don't think I'm going to make it into the final stretch. Oh, yeah, I will. Never mind. Okay. Um, Heraclea. I'm going to need a port because I need a navy to stop uh, the Etruscans from just coming over. It's going to get expensive. So, we've got a port now. We're working on a fort. And we've got our manpower coming. Yeah, they don't have many ships, so I can edge them out. In fact, I'm just going to start working on that now because I need them. Um... I'm going to go with triremes. I'm going to go with a little bit more quality over quantity. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we lost the encounter. Okay, never mind. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Okay, yeah, we're going to uh, take the civilized neighbor buff. Over 
more political influence. Okay, so we got our fortress. Excuse me. Although we have done our best to secure the northern coast of Sardinia to properly establish full control over the Strait of Tafros, we should also settle an outpost on the southern outskirts of Corsica, which hopes to harry any attempt of crossing our strait at the source. The situation is fine for now, but untenable long term. A conclusion reached by looking at the old new ages we built in the southern part of Corsica, we must expand further in the island, reclaiming the land occupied by our forefathers in the times of old. Okay. Now we gain the claim, a claim, which is cool. So here I need to build cities. Basically we're at the point where it's like we're, we're looking for cities. So I'm gonna build a little bit more of a navy and then uh, we're gonna start uh, taking a look at these guys. Okay, I do want manpower speed. Let's see, if they have six ships, that means they can carry six cohorts at a time. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, there's war going on here. Ah, damn it. My country's too unstable. Oh, well. That was a great opportunity I've lost here to uh, take this land. Okay, I think with that, I'm going to call it for this episode. Thank you for watching.